I studied abroad for a year in Utrecht, which is in the Netherlands. Um, the university that I was studying at is an honors college, so it actually had a fairly high GPA requirement, and the classes that I took there were surprisingly more difficult than the ones I had here. Um, but they're actually also very rewarding because there are a number of courses that I had the opportunity to take that I couldn't take here. I took a cultural history of magic class, which was kind of interesting, and that was a history course which applied for upper division units for history. Um, I also took a history and philosophy of science course as well, which was really cool because we don't have anything like that here, or at least it's a lot more limited. And this was a great opportunity to learn not about, not just about the local culture, but also about an area of history that I wouldn't have gotten otherwise. Um, additionally, we had similar experiences where we'd learn about something in the class and then go out and see it in the real world. So I finished my art requirement while I was there by going to all these amazing Dutch museums in Amsterdam and Harlem and all these crazy places throughout the country. And the cool thing is there's also a really nice train system there, so it's easy enough getting absolutely everywhere. And also everyone there uses bikes, so not too different from UCSB. experience. I learned a bit of Dutch. I did the, we had a, a language and culture intensive and that's because in the Netherlands it's, they say 80% of the people speak English there but it's more like 99% of the people speak English there. So you don't really need to try that hard with the foreign language but that means that the academics can be even more rigorous than if they were teaching international students. Um, one thing about my university in particular is since it was an honors college rather than just having students from the local group, people, so the Dutch. Um, there were 60% Dutch, so I got to meet a lot of locals, but at the same time, the other 40% were international students like myself, and a lot of them were from the EU, but some of them were from other places in the world as well. So we had a number of international students who were there on exchange or just studying full-time. So I actually had a lot of friends from Hong Kong, which was kind of fun, um, and just a number of places throughout the world. And what was great as well as I got to visit them at home on vacations, also, the city that I lived in, if you guys know anything about the Carolingian Empire, it was the northernmost part of Charlemagne's empire, which is pretty cool from a historical perspective. Also, we had the tallest tower in the country, which was built in the 1300s, which was really cool. So just being steeped in the history of another culture, especially as history majors, is an amazing opportunity that you really don't get if you stay here. <music> Tips for the process as well are start early and just go somewhere. You can go out on a limb. It doesn't need to be anywhere in particular. It doesn't matter if you're in Japan or Italy or Spain or the Netherlands, anywhere you go abroad it's going to be a fantastic experience. You're going to learn something new about not only the new culture that you're in, but also about yourself.